Things are a little different down here in the South. I will expect you men to obey the racial code. Yes, sir. Get back with the others. Just go ahead and drive this machine. Officer Cross. This is a white man's world. Every man here has got a lit fuse. It's um, inspired by true events uh, versus based on true stories. So we obviously dramatize some things around it, um, but tried to keep it real in terms of, you know, what black people deal with, dealt with in terms of colorism, in terms of, you know, what does it look like when a light skin man dates a dark skinned woman, in terms of, of, of patriotism and honor, you know what I mean? That, you know, black people do work hard. A lot, a lot of people, I don't think, know that in, in that time, that black people were joining, were like joining the army, not being drafted, joining the army for honor and patriotism and legacy, ultimately. And um, as you probably know, were grouped together and sent off to do menial, you know, tasks while, you know, their white counterparts went off to fight or do whatever, you know, be men, be honorable, be patriotic. I think what makes it so powerful is that you look at this story and it's, it is 1917, it is 103 years old. Um, but it doesn't seem so far away, does it? But I think it's been relevant. Uh, we wrote this, Kevin wrote this thing 20 years ago. It was relevant then. We came together and did our thing together three years ago. It was relevant then. You know, we finished, we did the film last year. It was relevant then. Unfortunately, it continues to find its, you know, relevance in terms of like, you know, this is what we're going through because we haven't progressed forward in the way that, you know, puts an end to all of this.